dear friends a very warm welcome to this talk of the town quantum computing here we will learn if quantum computing all about speed or complexity or beyond that please don't forget to watch the previous amazing tutorials and interview questions link for the playlist and videos are in the description box if you want to read some amazing tutorials please log on to softwaretestingportal.com all right all right let's get started with quantum so first thing first what is quantum computing quantum computing is a modern way of computing that is based on the science of quantum mechanics and its unbelievable phenomena an excellent combination of physics mathematics computer science and information theory Quantum computing is a new kind of computing based on quantum mechanics that deals with the physical world that is probabilistic and unpredictable in nature. Quantum mechanics being a more general model of physics than classical mechanics give rise to a more general model of computing quantum computing that has more potential to solve problems that cannot be solved by classical ones. Quantum computers excel in solving involves number or data crunching with huge amounts of inputs They are designed to tackle complex problems that would take supercomputers from days to being unable to solve. To store and manipulate the information, they use their own quantum bits also called qubits, unlike other classical computers which are based on classical computing that uses binary bits 0 and 1 individually. So let's understand more about qubits next. So, what is a qubit? In quantum computing, a qubit or quantum bit is a basic unit of quantum information, the quantum version of the classic binary bit physically realized with a two-state device. They acquire both digital as well as analog nature which gives the quantum computer their computational power. Their analog nature indicates that quantum gates have no noise limit and their digital nature provides a norm to recover from this weakness. Now, having learnt about qubits, let's learn how the classical and quantum computers are different from each other. Okay friends, the first different we have already learnt that classic computers are bit based whereas quantum computer are qubit based. Next, bits having a value of either 0 or 1 whereas qubits having a value of 0, 1 are sometimes negative and can have both values at the same time. Classic computers are based on classical physics. Whereas quantum computer are based on quantum mechanics. Classic computers have defined and limited answers due to the algorithm's design. Quantum computers have probabilistic and multiple answers. Classic computers deal with routine problems. Whereas quantum computers deal with complex and massive problems. In classic computers, the number of possible states is 2 which is either 0 or 1. Whereas in quantum computers the number of possible states is infinite since it can hold combinations of 0 or 1. Classic computers are deterministic whereas quantum computers are probabilistic. What it means is, in classic computers, repetition of computation on the same input gives the same output so deterministic. Whereas in quantum computers, repetition of computation gives probabilistic answers so probabilistic. Quantum computers use three fundamental properties of quantum mechanics to store, represent, and perform operations on data in such a way so that it can compute exponentially faster than any classical computer. First is superposition. Superposition is the ability of a quantum system to be in multiple states simultaneously. The go-to example of superposition is the flip of a coin, which consistently lands as heads or tails, a very binary concept. However, when that coin is in midair, it is both heads and tails and until it lands, heads and tails simultaneously. Before measurement, the electron exists in quantum superposition. Secondly, entanglement. Entanglement in quantum mechanics is a physical phenomenon where two or more quantum objects are inherently linked such that measurement of one rules the possible measurement of another. In other words, a pair or a group of particles interacts or share spatial locality such that the quantum state of each particle cannot be characterized independently of the other particle's state in the same group even when they are separated by a large distance. Entanglement is one of the important properties of quantum computing. It refers to the strong correlation existing between two quantum particles. Entanglement is a quantum property is taking objects and connecting them by permanently entangling them together. Third is interference. 
The property of interference in quantum computers is similar to wave interference in classical physics. Interference can be used to control quantum states and amplify the signals that are leading toward the right answer, while cancelling signals that are leading to the wrong answer. The architecture of the quantum computer is a combination of classical and quantum parts and can be divided into five layers where each layer is represented as the functional part of the computer. Application layer It is not a part of a quantum computer, it is used for representing a user interface, the operating system for a quantum computer, coding environment, ETC, that are needed for formulating suitable quantum algorithms, it is hardware independent. Classical layer It optimizes and compiles the quantum algorithm into micro instructions, it also processes quantum state measurement returned back from hardware in the below layers and gives it to a classical algorithm to produce results. Digital layer It interprets micro instructions into signals needed by qubit which act as quantum logic gates, it is the digital description of the required analog pulses in the below layers, it also gives quantum measurement as feedback to the above classical layer for merging the quantum outcomes to the final result. Analog layer it creates voltage signals which are having a phase and amplitude modulations like in wave, for sending it to the below layer so that qubit operations can be executed. Quantum layer it is integrated with the digital and the analog processing layer onto the same chip, it is used for holding qubits and is kept at room temperature, absolute, error correction is handled here, this layer determines how well the computer performs. Quantum processing unit or QPU is made up of three layers including the digital processing layer, analog processing layer, and quantum processing layer. QPU and classical layer together constitute the quantum computer. Digital and analog layers operate at room temperature. Quantum computing has a number of business applications. Let's look at some of them here. First is healthcare or pharma industry. Using quantum computing, pharmaceutical companies could screen larger and more complex molecules, better map interactions between a drug and its target, and shave time and costs off the development process. The result, better diagnostics, medications, and vaccines, coming sooner and more efficiently to market. Improving speed and accuracy in finance. A key advantage of quantum technology is that it allows financial players to better manage uncertainty in decision making. Combating climate change. Quantum computing can unlock new approaches for tackling climate change. Quantum technology could help in the development of lighter and stronger materials for building cars and aircraft. Insurance. Quantum computing has the potential to transform the way insurance firms do complicated calculations. It can also assess nearly any type of risk, such as the impact of a looming hurricane, easing the insurance industry's workload. Data analytics, it can also assess nearly any type of risk, such as the impact of a looming hurricane, easing the insurance industry's workload. Artificial intelligence, quantum computing might offer up new possibilities in artificial intelligence, which frequently requires the combinatorial processing of vast amounts of data to produce better predictions and judgments. Cryptography. Advanced cryptography is the most prevalent use of quantum computing, Encryption that employs very big prime number factorization is impossible to break with today's machines. This decryption might become easy with quantum computers. Retail Quantum computing can reshape our economic, industrial, academic, and sociological landscapes in the future. Okay friends, let's see some of the advantages of quantum computing. According to researchers, quantum computers will be able to solve those complex mathematical problems that traditional computers find impossible to solve in a practical time frame. It provides that computing power which can sufficiently process excessively large amounts of data. Due to the teleportation phenomenon known as quantum tunneling, it can work in parallel and use less amount of electricity, hence, reducing the power consumption up to 100 to 1000 times. A general quantum computer is thousands of times faster than any classical computer. For example, Google has made a quantum computer that is 100 million times faster than any classical computer present in its lab. It can solve complex problems without being overheated. It can easily solve optimization problems such as finding the best route and scheduling trains and flights. It would also be able to compute 1 trillion moves in chess per second.
It can bring up revolution from drugs to petroleum industries. The invention of new drugs will become possible. The marketable algorithms of financial organizations can be improved. The field of artificial intelligence can be improved soon. We all agree with a lot of pros of quantum computing, but there must be some disadvantages of quantum computing. Right? Okay, let's understand what are these. First, due to advancements in quantum computers, the security of the existing Internet of Things may fall down. Cryptographic techniques, databases of government and private large organizations, banks, and defense systems can be hacked. Considering these facts, quantum computers can be terrible for our future. Then, the quantum computer will work as a different device and cannot replace classical computers entirely. Since, classical computers are better at some chores than quantum computers like email, excel. Then, we all know, it has not been invented completely yet as only parts are being implemented and people are still imagining how it would look. It is very delicate and error prone. Any kind of vibrations affects subatomic particles like atoms and electrons, due to which noise, faults, and even failures are possible. It leads to decoherence, which is a loss of coherence in quantum. Last but not the least, quantum processes are very unstable and are very hard to test even. The main problem is to really develop it as a personal computer with the price range in the budget of consumers. They will be firstly accessible to large-scale industry then come to retail markets. Friends, this tutorial is an effort to understand the basics of the quantum computing which is the talk of the town. We hope this proves to be helpful for the technology enthusiastic. Please write in the comment if you want something similar or different content. And please, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and loving the videos, see you in the next one.